All right, let's get down to the New York Stock Exchange. Um, Jim Cramer is standing by. And Jim, I've been waiting all morning to talk with you about that incredible interview last night with Raj Subramaniam, the CEO of FedEx. I mean, this was kind of astounding. It has set the tone for the markets today. Just what, what's your take after talking to him? Is this a FedEx problem? Is this a broader market problem? No. Yeah, I think 70% macro, 30% uh, FedEx. They do have a cost problem. Uh, on the regular Federal Express business, but uh, it, it, may, it made my jaw drop. Uh, I, it was one of those interviews, his first one, where he just said, look, I don't know what's the matter with China. They, uh, it's worse than before. Uh, Europe is deeply involved with the cost structure and how much, little of much they have, well, little they have after they spend on their electric and heating bills, and that's because of Russia. The United States is a little more positive one, but still not exceptional. And the worldwide recession, Becky, was, uh, I mean, I, look, I put the words in his mouth. I was hoping he would say no. So, uh, yeah, I, I think the market sh should be down. I think the stock's right. The 20 percent decline is jaw dropping in itself. I mean, still trying to figure out the implications from all of this. But that is a re-rating overnight, like you can't believe, just in terms of the multiple. <laughs> Yeah, it is overnight because the, the meeting was June 29. They raised the dividend. Uh, now, he did say he's continuing to buy back stock. And uh, it's obvious they're going to take out costs. They gave you about an eight-point me uh, menu where they can take out costs. But they can't take out costs fast enough, Becky. And they're flying too many planes uh, half, half full from China or less. Uh, and that's, you know, that, that would be like the apparel that was going to try to make it for the holiday season. And then after the holiday season, they just kept flying those planes and those planes were really hurting them. Uh, I do think, though, that the macro is very much in evidence. And when you, I actually said, I said, I hope J-PAL listens, because this was a wake-up call. Uh, there are many, many problems around the world. And ju just because we're better than the others, that does not make us good. And so I think that uh, anyone who listens to what Raj said last night cannot feel the same about the U.S. economy as you did yesterday before it. Obviously, the, the market is paying attention today. We're looking at the Dow now down by 350 points. But, Jim, it was an incredible interview. People have well, to listen you to you much, coming Becky. up in just a minute to hear more of thank what you, you have to say about it, because this is driving the markets today. Jim, thanks. Thank we'll you. see you in just a few.